November 23, 1943. When the smoke had cleared, more than 5,000 American and Japanese men had lost their lives on a beach not much wider than a few football fields. A Japanese admiral once said, we couldn't take Tarawa with a million men in a hundred years. Well, the Marines did it in three days. And now it's over. But of course it ain't really over. The road to Tokyo is a long one, and we're only halfway there. But son of a bitch, we're alive. Hopefully we've earned a little rest, but tyranny doesn't sleep. And freedom? Well, it's anything but free. Devil Dogs! On your feet! We're moving out! So I get down to the sick bay for my vaccinations, and there's these two nurses standing there, you know, giving everyone their shots. And one of these dames looks like Grable. I mean, wow, long legs. <laughs> but the other one looks like Gable, complete with pencil mustache. I'm not kidding you, fellas. So I get in line, and all the time I'm thinking, oh, God, I volunteered for this tour. Give me the one that looks like Grable. So I get up near the front of the line, and the only guy in front of me is this scrawny little kid with freckles and wire brush for hair. And this little bastard's gonna get grable. I mean, her uniform is sticking way out to here. Ain't no way I'm gonna get stuck with Red Butler in a dress. So the gorgeous dame turns to Freckleface and asks him if he's afraid of needles. I tell you, fellas, wherever this kid is from, all the women must be flat-chested, because all he can do is stare at her with his mouth hanging open. So I shove him aside and I tell Grable that a real Marine ain't afraid of no pointy objects. Just then Gable steps up, shoves a needle in my arm and says, A real Marine has enough manners to wait in line. And I turn to her and say, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.